really? Okay. Pat, I appreciate you coming. Hey, my pleasure. Thank you, Ryan. So good to be here. When we talk, we think about AI is everywhere. Something that you said. What does that mean? Well, you know, as we think about AI, right? You know, and I, I joke that, uh, you know, I, uh, when I was designing the 46 in the late 80s, we wanted to make it a great AI chip. What happened in the 80s in AI? Nothing, right? <laughs> right? So, all this, so it's this 50 year overnight success. But now, you know, the use cases are getting defined, the algorithms, the, you know, uh, silicon to execute it, and all of a sudden, right, it can understand speech better than humans. It has vision, you know, better than we have, and it's able to, you know, leverage this corpus of data at extraordinary scale at this point. And now you sort of say, hey, let's go redefine everything with the power of AI. Let's redefine how we interface with our technology as opposed to us adjusting to you know, the QWERTY keyboard of 1874. Okay, let's start doing it like we talk. Let's start you know, bringing vision everywhere. Let's start using that 90 plus percent of data that never gets utilized yeah. today. That's what AI is all about. And I really think you know, it will be the next phase, just like the internet, yeah. right? That redefines every aspect of computing and how we use tech. And you mentioned it, right? You were at the forefront of continuing to push this out there, right? And when you think of AIs for good, just like you were mentioning, you know, how we can continue to push, what does that mean to you and to ensure that AI is being used for good? Well, I think all of us need to, you know, look at these different technologies. Some of the social ones, people say, huh, was that good or bad, right? You know, you know, deep fake, right? Well, hey, you know, technology enables like some really pretty good media creation capabilities, yeah. quite stunning, but it also enabled deep fakes. And in that, technology is almost always neutral, right? It's not good or bad per se, it's how we shape it over mm -hmm. time. And I think with AI, we have to think about the AI regulations. Okay, how do they make the good use cases come to the surface and safeguard the not good use cases for humanity? How do we constantly shape it as a force you know, for good? Autonomous vehicles, hey, redeeming hours per day per human on the road. Wow, that's really good. How do we make sure it's safe? How do we make sure it's proper and meets all the laws? You know, AI and medicine. Okay, this is really cool, but you know, we still have to be FDA approved. So all of those things mean shaping both the regulations and the technologies to be bringing out the good and enhancing the lives of every human on the planet in the process. And I know that something personally, your, one of your messages of partnership and bringing that ecosystem to help actually accomplish that. And here being at Amplify, right, Ed with HP and Intel, can you share with me a little bit some of the partnerships, things that you're working on together? Yeah, and clearly, I mean, we believe in cool new technology that's open, you know, truly able to enable categories to occur that people build on top of, right? You know, and that's the fun thing about what we've done where, you know, USB, hey, it created a whole new category of uses and Wi-Fi, well, you know, we think of the AIPC and what we're doing together, you know, with HP and with the partners enabling a whole new set of applications, use cases, you know, to emerge. And they only get useful when the partners show up to make them useful, you know, for the customers, to bridge that gap of their business challenges, their user challenges, in the context of the cool platforms and technologies and new applications that we and our partners are providing. Well, for me, you know, I've obviously watched you for very, from afar, and when you say cool to me, I know what that means. I actually know what that means and what you're trying to do. Like, for the audience, when you mean cool, what does that mean to you? Well, you know, some examples are gonna be a little bit boring. But, uh, you know, how do I make my manufacturing lines more productive? Where today we might sample one part out of 10 to go do visual inspection. Well, now with AIPC, I'm going to do 100% visual inspection and I'll improve the quality of every product that we ship. I'm going to do, you know, high performance machine analytics in real time because we can bring this technology into our factory. So, you know, the uptime, the cost, the improvements in the productivity in a factory are going to get better. You know, another example might be, uh, hey, you know, uh, in the context of a multi-party Zoom or Teams call, right? I'm going to get real-time language translation, contextualization. You know, when that Japanese person said yes and their body language, you know, wasn't there, that's because they just said they heard you, mm -hmm. right? Not because yeah. they agreed with you. And summarization, right? This is the meeting that we had. This is what I talked about in that uh, 
conversation or, you know, preemptive uh, contextualization. Last time you met, this was the summary of the meetings as well. These were the action items that were discussed the last time. Make sure to bring, and, and oh, by the way, today's their daughter's birthday, right? You know, all of a sudden be more relational as well. All of those things to me are the new use cases that we're going to start to enable together. So when I hear you say those use cases, it gets me really excited because we also, it makes me think about what you're trying to do and we're in Vegas. So when you think of Vegas, people go all in. <laughs> and I know, I know you all, I, I would love to hear, because I'm super interested on what you think your next big bet, bold bet, um, for you all. Well, you know, clearly one of them, you know, here we are at uh, Amplify is, I'm going to drive, you know, way faster ramp of the AI PC, that every PC becomes an AI PC on a much more, all right, torrid, as we yeah. uh, like to call it, an Intel pace, where, you know, truly, you sort of say, Huh, you know, it's like a PC without Wi-Fi. Why would I buy one of those, right? You know, it just becomes, you know, that standard. And to me, you know, going from magic to mundane is what we're all about, right? How do we take a breakthrough in technology, make it so commonly expected that people say, I can't live without it. And to me, that's part of what this next phase of the journey is. You know, also for us, it's, uh, you know, how do we truly enable AI everywhere? where all of a sudden you walk into a store, right? And, uh, you know, it uh, changes your retail experience. Yeah. It changes the supply chain, you know, the robotics. It makes us safer uh, as a result. So, you know, all of these become the expected new capabilities of this cool period of innovation that we have for the future. So I got two quick questions, kind of, you got to run. Um, one word and one sentence to get it out to the other. So future of AI is? Is everywhere. When, when you think of this word, think of what's the first thing that pops in your mind or a sentence? The word amplify. Amplify, loud, impactful, changing everything. Perfect. Thank you, that was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. I love, I, I love that you're back.